So in this video, we are going to see about the design and testing of integrator and differentiator. For this, uh, the circuit is shown here. It is the circuit used for integrator and we are going to use one IC that is operational amplifier. This operational amplifier is used uh, for performing analog computations earlier, but uh, it will also used for uh, other purposes like addition subtraction of analog voltages as, as well as uh, addition subtraction as well as integration uh, differentiation also could be done using this uh, 741 and uh, for, for from that we are going to use design integrator circuit in this video. Uh, so for that we have connected one resistor and one capacitor in feedback, a resistor in the input side and capacitor in the feedback. So here in this uh, 741 there are uh, 8 pins as seen here. This second pin is inverting input and third pin is non-inverting input and the sixth pin is output. And the IC has to be biased with positive and negative voltages. Positive voltage has to be uh, given to seventh pin and negative voltage has to be given to fourth pin. So these are all the connections we have made here and apart from this adding some uh, resistors or capacitors in input and feedback uh, we can uh, design as whatever we require. So uh, to uh, get an uh, integrator what we have to do is we have to connect one resistor in input and one capacitor in feedback. Feedback which means uh, out uh, the, the component will be placed between the input pin and the output pin. So the equation for this integrator is shown here it is V out is equal to minus 1 by RC integral of V in DT. So for this uh, experiment what we are going to use is DC power supply which is dual channel so uh, and one oscilloscope and function generator, breadboard and some electronics components for doing the circuit. So we are going to design the circuit in this breadboard first I am fixing this operational amplifier IC, we have to fix the IC like this way so that there will be no interconnections between uh, top side 4 pins and bottom side 4 pins. So as per the circuit, so here the pin numbers how we can identify is there is a small dot in the IC. Full zoom and the IC is full zoom and the IC is a small dot. So, uh, so we have to identify the how uh, identify the pin numbers of this IC. Uh, so here there is a small dot in the IC, and the uh, pin lower to that dot is the first pin, and we have to count from here one, two, three, four, and then top side and five, six, seven, and eight. So as per the circuit, we have taken one resistor which is 10 kilo ohm and this resistor is connected to second pin in the circuit. So I am connecting one lead of this resistor to second pin. The another pin I, have, I am connecting in a random point. So now again there is a capacitor in the feedback. So I am taking that capacitor which is 2.2 microfarad and I am the in the circuit this capacitor is connected between pin number 2 and pin number 6. So I am connecting one lead of this capacitor to pin number 2 and another lead to pin number 6. So I have connected the capacitor also. After making these connections we have to give the biasing voltage for this operational amplifier and we will give input signal to the second pin and will check the output signal. So for this circuit we require a dual power supply which is plus 15 volt and minus 15 volt. For that what we are doing is we have a dual power supply uh, which both are positive. We are going to make it series and then we are going to take plus 15 volt and minus 15 volt from that. For that we have made, made these connections. So this is one power supply and this is another power supply. We have connected negative of one power supply to positive of another, uh, another one. 
and we have taken three wires so here here there are three wires out of which one is plus 15 volt another one is minus 15 volt and another wire is ground so i am going to connect this biasing voltage to our ic now i am taking this plus 15 volt so i am uh, taking the wire which is plus 15 volt and connecting to pin 7 of operational amplifier and again i am taking minus 15 volt and connecting it to pin 4 of operational amplifier and i am taking the ground wire and connecting it to pin number 3 as per the circuit diagram so here we have to set the voltage in this power supply so for that i am pressing channel 1 to set the voltage of channel 1 i am setting giving 10 and pressing enter so channel 1 is set to 10 volt and i have to select channel 2 in channel 2 also i am setting 10 volt and if we press the on button the output will get enabled and will be give, uh, given to the ic so here in uh, for the integrator circuit we have to give square wave and we will get triangular wave so for setting the square wave here there is a button we have to press this button and it is channel 1 so the uh, uh, enable button of this channel 1 has to be pressed in or uh, then the signal will be available at this output so here we have a bnc to free end cable using this we will give the signal input signal to our circuit and we have another bnc to free end cable from that uh, using that we will uh, check the output of, in, from the ic so we, here we have another uh, bnc to bnc cable using this we will uh, find what we are giving uh, to the circuit using this splitter for that i am connecting this t connector ah, for that i am connecting this uh, splitter in the output of the function generator and connecting one end of bnc bnc to bnc cable to one side of this splitter and another end of the bnc cable i am connecting to channel 1 of oscilloscope so if we press on we can find the signal generated from this function generator so we have connected uh, this bnc to bnc cable from uh, function generator to oscilloscope so to check what what the signal we are giving we have to press this on off enable button if we press this we can find we can see the signal coming out from this function generator so we are going to feed this signal to our circuit so to feed this uh, signal to the circuit as early, uh, as said earlier i am using this bnc to free end cable i am connecting on end to this and connecting positive of the signal to input uh, input uh, the resistor which is connected to input pin 2 I, I have connected the ground of the input signal to third pin where we have connected the ground of the dc power supply this black wire is the positive of the input signal this is the cable which you are using to uh, check the output from the circuit so i am connecting this red color wire uh, which is positive to this is the sixth pin of the ic i have connected this positive to this pin this is ground of this wire this wire i am going to connect to ground of the dc power supply other end of the wire which we just connected to the sixth pin is this bnc connector and we are going to connect this to oscilloscope to see the output signal from the ic i am connecting this bnc connector to channel 2 of the oscilloscope so after making all these setups i am switching on this dc power supply which will excite this ic and switching on this 
on off button in function generator which will give the input input signal to ic and we can see so after uh, uh, switching uh, giving uh, excitation voltage and input signal we can find this yellow color signal is the input signal which we uh, given to our circuit and the green color signal is the output signal which we are getting from the circuit so after completing all these experiments after getting the uh, output signal we have to measure peak to peak of input signal as well as peak to peak of output signal and also frequencies of both input signal and output signal so with that we have to plot the graph using the data and the data is here peak to peak of one is 5 volt peak to peak of one which is input signal is 5 volt frequency of input signal is 100 hertz frequency of output signal is 100 hertz and peak to peak of output signal is 610 millivolt using this graph has to be plotted so thus we have uh, designed and tested the integrator circuit from this circuit we are we are going to do differentiator circuit also using the same components but instead of connecting this capacitor in the feedback we will connect the re resistor in the input side in the to the feedback and we will connect this capacitor to input and the uh, circuit diagram of the differentiator is and here this is the circuit for differentiator and the output of this will be rc into d by dt of v in so here this resistor and capacitor has, has been changed uh, swapped uh, from the circuit of integrator so this is the circuit for differentiator